everybody, Kitsune Haruri here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another blind box opening with my love-hate relationship with the LOL dolls. But on top of that, these are coming from the dollar store. So at the dollar store I found a couple of the surprise balls for LOL minis. This will be the LOL Surprise Spirit Club and it was about $10 at the dollar store. This one promises a surprise doll, seven surprises, a sticker over what's on there, and who knows what else. Also, from the same dollar store, for five dollars each, I found Color Change Surprise Little Sisters. This one says it has five surprises, and of course the doll. So, that's probably going to call for a little bit of water, I am certain, and a little something to dip it in. So let's get started opening these up. I'm going to start with the dry one first, because we know what happens when I start opening up the others. Big old messes everywhere. Per usual, the LOL surprise has umpteen million layers. Oh, there's a piece of paper. What's this? Alright, this one's the hint, dress, and a trophy, it says dress for success, next layer, funny thing is on every layer there's a Dollar General don't steal me sticker here, they like went deep with those. <laughs> Layer number two. Oh, we got another piece of paper. It has three little emoji stickers and it says plus water equals question mark. Cute little stickers though. It may spit, it may pee, or it may cry. Okay. Which is true of most of them. The outside layers here. Kind of cute little images. Alright. As we open this up, I'm starting to see the little outside chambers. With their little hidden things. So, a little paper there. Little paper there. That one's wedged. Come on now. Kind of tight. Right, so there's two on the outside here. Set this down a moment. Open these up. First thing I have is a pair of little shoes with socks. And a tiny black tennis shoes with white socks. Alright. And the other item is their sippy cup, which is squeezy and you can fill with water to make them cry, pee, or spit. Rude little things. All right. So I've got an opening up here. On the inside, it says Bay. I don't know. B A E I D T K L O L O M G J K. You know all the little things. And a little piece of pizza. And this. There's all your legalese and serial numbers and such. And this top chamber is a little schoolgirl dress, which is really kind of cute. Check that little dress out. That is nerd chic, and I am all about nerd chic, thank you. And little plaid skirts. Go ahead and take that off the little plastic dress form here. 
All right, to the main chamber. If you look on the inside, it's usually a little seat, a drink holder, you know, there's, there's tables and all that sort of stuff going on. This right here is supposed to go in here somewhere. I think. Yeah, kind of sits right there. Here's your little drink holder. Sits right there. Yeah. There's the little carrier thing that goes on the top of the ball. Papers, which I'm not going to show you because it gives away the doll. And some more little accessories. Ah, and lenses. So, um, yeah, this, this one's a... Uh, Bit of a, a, a fake nerd. They got no lenses in their glasses. <laughs> Here's the glasses. And here the top has bubbles and like a little pacifier thing. If you turn them this way, there's a little holder that you can stick your feet in so they'll stand up. Scoot you out of the way, kids. Not your turn yet. This is also the side that these go into. And finally, the doll. And I get this little pink haired cutie in her nakedness. They didn't put any weird lingerie or anything on her. It looks like she's a peeing doll. So I won't be feeding her anything. <laughs> Go ahead and put her little outfit on her. It is a simpler outfit than you would see coming out of the regular stores. Because, you know, you'll get a decently comparable toy out of the dollar stores. But to keep the price a little bit lower, they'll skim it a little bit. So she has just, you know, her socks and shoes as one piece. One piece dress. Which is this plastic slip-on stuff they do now, which is okay. But, um... It's like a hospital gown. Her little butt's showing. And, of course, her little glasses. And if you look behind their ears, they have little things to clip those into. And, yes, they go on very tight. here she is. I find her to be very cute. I like the style of her little outfit and her style of her hair and everything. I don't like that she's wearing basically a hospital gown. That could probably be upgraded for her with some very delicate hand sewing. But not bad. She's pretty cute. There's a little thing she says to stand up in. And there we have the, what do we call her? This is Baby Steps. Did they give her any other name? No, no other name. Um, there's a possibility of a couple of other dolls. One looks like a little majorette that's a little boy in a similar outfit to hers. And there's also a little owl you can possibly get. Which I would love to see the little owl. I don't know what that stuff is. There's some sort of sand stuff or whatever you can put in there. But I don't know where that comes from. But that is it for her. I find her cute. So she falls on the love side of everything. She's very simple and uncomplicated. She's in scale with some of my others that I have up here. Um, yeah, I think she's probably going to hang around. 
This doesn't do much of anything. Is it a sticker? No, it's just a piece of paper. Anyway, she's got a cute little sticker. She has her little bedroom type thing that she lives in. Her little sippy cup to make her pee, which I will not be doing. And there's this little darling. Alright, so let's have a look at the other two. These are the color change surprise, Little Sisters. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be even smaller? Maybe babies? Let's find out. This one is exceptionally hard to open. They even give me two zippers for this. It says a lot. Just like the other one, there's a paper hint out here. Oh, do you have to get the paper wet? I think I do. Let's have a look. Just a dribble. You have to get the paper wet to see the hint. I have all of it here. There we go. This one has a trophy and a checkered flag. Right there. When you get it wet to see it. It says trophy winner. Okay. Keep opening. It's the second layer. Harder to open than the regular ones are. Alright. Any secrets in this one? Nope. We're going just straight to. This one has a little ball. Single hole in the top. It's covered with stripes and triangles and polka dots and the LOL logo. You squeeze that, and here are all the little packages. The piece of paper to show you how to use it, and apparently this one's a keychain of some sort. While the other ones have the chain handle, these have a single. Instructions. Paperwork. This one actually has some listings of what you can get. And there's quite a collection in here. You can get like the regular little kids, pets, tiny babies. There's a poster for some of the characters. And it looks like there's popular, fancy, rare, and ultra-rare available. Okay. This little package here first is the keychain. Which goes in a hole here. I assume. Wow, this one's difficult. There we go. Little keychain. Got a tiny package here. If I can get it open. And in this tiny package, I have a tiny, tiny pair of pink shoes. Alright. Let's 
And this one, I have a giant seashell purse with handles, all plastic. And this must be the doll. And I get one of the babies. With a green diaper. And some platinum half shave hair. And who is she? She's a little surfer babe, and she's a popular. And her shoes are not for her. Those are gigantic, so they must go to another doll. Okay, it's extra accessories for the larger version of surfer babe. So we have a little surfer babe, and says she color changes. Cold water, I guess, to see what color her diaper will be. Hopefully the water is cold enough. Swish. And nothing at all. So probably not cold enough. All right, where to put my towel? So the water's not cold enough. The shoes are for another doll, which is a little bit disappointing. I'd rather have accessories for the doll I have in my hand. There. Her pacifier is permanent. It doesn't come out. But she is kind of cute. I really kind of like that little doll. And she goes in the purse. All right. So there's a little surfer babe. Let's see who's in the other one. So there's that please don't steal me sticker. Straight to the knife. <laughs> All right, here's our secret message. Got to dip it. And this secret message has a blue ribbon and a ghost. It's best boo. Puns. Right, let's go ahead and get this open. This one has a gold ball. Same sort of patterning though. Another handful of stuff inside. Same paperwork. Again, same paperwork. Here's the keychain. This one. I get I'm not entirely
highly certain what this accessory is supposed to be. It has a handle and a plastic backing. And on the picture it says disco ball decoration. I don't know. It's a thing. <laughs> pretty good here. Alright, this one is a backpack. Pretty good size one actually. It actually opens. And if I can line it up. It has a little thing to hold it shut. Very 80s and 90s in that design. But otherwise pretty cute. Looks like it's for one of the bigger dolls, like her size. Now what's this? And another tiny baby. And this one's even cuter. By the way, these have no articulation. They are in the position they are in. And I guess this is... Little Baby Next Door, but she's not painted exactly the same way as the uh, packaging. She is super cute, though. Actually, she looks better than the uh, illustration does. So, little baby next door, who do you go with? Baby next door, okay. So, there's an older version of her, too. And again, she's got accessories that are just way too big for her. She kind of goes into them. If you're walking around with your baby in a backpack that's closed up like that, there's a problem. <laughs> Alright, this is color change. Let's see if she does anything. Nope, nothing on her either. So the color change thing, yeah, just completely fails on these. <laughs> but I've had that happen before. So I'm not terribly shocked and not terribly concerned either because it's not that big of a deal to me. But if you really, really like your color change figures, you're going to be disappointed. But, nonetheless, still a really cute little doll. Um, I honestly would probably get some more of these, just because they're so little and so cute. And if you really want more accessories for your larger dolls, well, here's where you're going to get them from. So not so bad with the uh, color change surprise. I do believe it listed them specifically as little sisters. Because this says baby steps in here as well. So, yeah, color change surprise little sisters. I would go for those. Yeah, they're pretty cute. So, guys, that's it for our LOL surprise. And I'm not disappointed. I think They're nice and simple. And there went my camera just glitching out and dying on me. I hope it didn't cut out too much. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.